Hello and welcome to Unite and Prosper, where we will not be divided or conquered. And while you're watching this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share, share, share. President Biden always said that he wants you to be the last person in yeah. the room, particularly for big decisions, just as he was for President yeah. Obama. He just made a really big decision. Afghanistan. Yes. Were you the last person in the room? Yes. Yesterday, August 26th, was the three-year anniversary to the Biden-Harris debacle of ending the war in Afghanistan, where we lost 13 Americans at Kabul International Airport, and also we left behind 73 aircrafts, almost 100 vehicles, but the U.S. Central Command head, General Kenneth McKenzie, said it had all been rendered impossible to use, but the Taliban celebrated the three-year anniversary showing off those aircrafts and driving those vehicles in a parade. We also left lots of documents behind, which included names of the Afghanistan that assisted us, and those people, well, they're now no longer with us. I wonder what happened to them. Well, that would be like the mafia getting a hold of the list of people in the witness protection program. But let's see how Biden and Harris felt about this pack up and leave Afghanistan plan after it was over with. The United States ended 20 years of war in Afghanistan, the longest war in American history. We completed one of the biggest airlifts in history with more than 120,000 people evacuated to safety. The extraordinary success of this mission was due to the incredible skill, bravely, and selfless courage of the United States military and our diplomats and intelligence professionals. What's your response to our work of Americans? Hold on, hold on. Slow down, everybody. <laughs> uh so, Biden thinks it was a success, and Harris thinks it was funny. Okay. Well, back to the three-year anniversary. So who do you think attended the memorial? Was it President Biden? Nope. He's on vacation number two since his feast that uh, night one of the DNC. So was it Vice President Harris? Nope. Haven't seen hot in her hair of her since her uh, speech at night four of the DNC. Well, let's see who did attend. Donald J. Trump, the man that has been horrifically treated since the day he came down the escalators and announced his first run for president almost a decade ago now. Donald J. Trump, who even today is fighting for our country and the American people any way he can, even when not in office. You have a friend or a colleague that is a uh, never Trumper? Ask him this question. Why was Biden and Harris MIA at the memorial? Are the 13 Americans that lost their lives not important to Biden or Harris? Because the 13 dead Americans sure seem important to Donald J. Trump.